I'm going to be giving you three reasons why you should be weightlifting while training for your race. Now, this idea that distance runners need to be built like a fifth grader could whip their ass in order to run long distance, I think is kind of asinine and it's kind of silly. I think it's more or less a neglect of the weight room because they're running so much versus a, I'm going to choose to be smaller so I can run long distances. Now, I'm going to give you three reasons why I believe that if you incorporate weightlifting to get bigger and stronger, you will be a better runner and a better ultra runner and you'll have better performances. Now, reason number one, I can best summarize in Mark Ripto's quote, stronger people are harder to kill than weaker people and just more useful in general. Now, I couldn't agree with that quote more and more or less because a strong body means that you have a strong mind. I think you can't have a strong mind without a strong body. And I think that requires you to try and build an extremely strong frame and a strong body and be able to lift weight in a large amount and be able to perform in the weight room. I think you'll have a much stronger mind and so much of ultra running is mental. In fact, I would say 95% of the race is mental. You are constantly going through highs and lows and you are constantly getting your ass kicked. So I believe that if you have a strong mind, you will be a good ultra runner. It's not that you need to be a really good runner to be a good ultra runner. You need to have a strong mind to do it. And I think that if you have a strong body, this will help you have a stronger mind. Now, I'm not claiming to be this like deezed up meat titan, really strong dude. But I do spend a lot of time in the gym. I have lift five days a week. And those are not just because I like to lift. It's because I believe it's essential to me performing well while ultra running. Now, you could sit here and you could say, but yeah, Jake, well, maybe like I, if I was lighter, if I didn't weigh so much and you know, I, I dropped weight, I could probably run faster or run easier because I wouldn't be carrying so much weight. Yeah, that's probably true, but you know what's cooler than being able to run 100 miles? Is being able to run 100 miles and also squat a house. So that's reason number one. Reason number two is, now this is a more practical reason. And I have one of my really good friends and fellow Haas, Will Rattel, has a really good video describing this that I'm going to post here. And I encourage you guys to go watch it because he goes more in depth. He's a um, master in kinesiology and, you know, he performed at a really high level. So it's somebody that he's a good resource, but he explains it a little more than I do. So first of all, the more you lift, the bigger your muscles get and the stronger your muscles get, your tendons will also increase in strength. Now, tendons are made of collagen. They're arrayed or they're arranged in parallel in, it's called dense connective tissue, dense connective tissue. So think of your tendon as a rope and it's braided with all these, with all these string. So what that does when you lift and become, have stronger muscles is it interlocks your collagen fibrils even more and your tendon will actually increase in size as well. Now, this will prevent injury. Your tendons take a major beating when running ultra races and just running in high volume in general, your tendons take a lot of force. But if you were to gradually, and the National Strength and Conditioning Association says that if you were to gradually increase your strength and increase your tendon strength by weight training, those tendons will be able to adapt over time and will reduce your occurrence of injury, which one of the major reasons ultra runners get hurt or the ultra runners are they can't finish races is tendon injuries tendonitis achilles tendonitis is a death sentence of all ultra runners in fact there was a study that came out that they had two groups of runners that were suffering from achilles tendonitis one group incorporated eccentric weightlifting the other group was just the control group where they did not do weightlifting the eccentric weightlifting group was able to return to running 12 weeks earlier than the control group. There is absolute evidence that um, being able to weight lift and increasing your tendon strength and muscle size will protect your body from injury and protect you specifically from tendinopathy. So reason number two, 100%, it will reduce your rate of injury. Now, reason number three is in ultra running, there was so much hiking going on. There was so much hill climbing and a lot of times you're on really technical terrain that requires you to be very balanced and place in awkward positions. What the, you need to have not only strong legs to take all that climbing and hiking, but you also need to have a really strong core. 
when you are ultra running on trails, it's a little different than when you are running on roads. When you are running on roads, it's easy to keep your center of gravity. When you are running on trails, you have to keep your center of gravity compact and it's going to require you to have an extremely strong core. I think this will also prevent your occurrence of back injuries too if you can have a really strong core. So I incorporate ab exercises, just like one or two ab exercises into every single one of my lifts. And that's five days a week. And I think you don't have back problems and I think it'll help in the long run, especially with your longevity in the sport. And when you hit those hard miles, very high level miles, and you are constantly hiking and climbing, my next race in uh, the Ring the Springs 100 mile is 15,000 feet of gain and 15,000 feet of loss. That's equivalent to going up half of Mount Everest and coming back down. You are going to need strong legs. When you are running downhill, you are going to need strong, strong quads. You are going to need strong calves. That's just how it is. And I think you'll be able to be a much better ultra runner if you incorporate weightlifting into your training. It is not to spare weightlifting in order to run more distances. You need to add it to your training. So um, if you like this video, this means you're probably a new runner, a new ultra runner. So go ahead and listen to my um, video. You'll like that one. It's the, my three key principles to ultra running or to running if you're a new runner. Um, like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions or you want any topics that you want me to cover, uh, all resources I used were in the description. Um, comment if you want any topics that, that you want me to cover. So thanks. Bye.